Hello everyone. This is SQL Depository. I am Saurabh Pandey and today we are going to resolve this error which is related to SSL provider that we have got when we tried to connect our uh, SQL server which has been installed on Ubuntu server uh, using SQL CMD or command line tool. So I'll write the command again which is SQL CMD. The server name is localhost. The user is sd. Hit enter. The password. You have got this error. But if you use hyphen capital C, it will tell uh, the SQL Server uh, to test the server certificate. Okay. So it is equivalent to test server certificate uh, equal to yes when you use it in the you know application connection string. So this is something similar to that you have this parameter in SQL CMD which you can use and you should not get this error again. So I will give the password this time and you can see that I am already connected. So if I'll execute few of the commands here, I'll say select start from sys.databases and then go. You can see you have got the output. It is a little messy but don't worry about it. Uh, it's just too much of uh, data as it will return too many columns. Uh, so obviously uh, this terminal, terminal is not a good place to accommodate all these columns. So this will be always messy but you can always uh, dump the output in, in an output file to uh, uh, read the output. So terminal is not to display these many columns or these many uh, even the, too many rows uh, as you cannot anyways uh, uh, review all those rows or columns in the terminal. Okay, so let me just say select name comma state descending from sys dot databases and go and as you can see uh, that you have got the output again, uh, you know, it is not properly formatted, but don't worry about it uh, as uh, you know, uh, you can always go ahead and dump this output uh, into an output file. But uh, your SQL server is connected and you are able to use uh, the command line tool to connect the SQL server locally. Okay, so let me exit from here and uh, clear the screen. Uh, what if you want to, uh, you know, uh, check the status of SQL service or you want to restart the SQL service or you want to just uh, stop the SQL service or restart the SQL service, how exactly you can do that? So for this, the command is sudo. Uh, as it is a higher privileged operation, so you will have to use sudo in Linux and then systemctl, it's the utility and the status and uh, the service name is mssql server hit enter, provide the password and here you can see the status of the service is active and running. Okay, if you want to stop the service, just change this status to stop and it will go ahead and stop the service for you. Now if you will check the status again, you can see here it is not running anymore. And uh, let me actually clear the screen again. And if I want to start the service, I will say sudo systemctl start mssql hyphen server. And now if I'll check the status again, you can see the service is up and running again. So this is what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, but uh, in Linux, you don't have any UI for SQL Server Configuration Manager, right? So to tweak any settings or to configure SQL Server, you will you have to use this command line tool, which is mssql-conf that we have already used once while we did we were doing uh, the SQL Server installation, right? So here we have used that, but we can use this uh, binary for many other things to configure the SQL server, which I'm going to cover in my next video. So thank you for watching this video. I'll meet you again in my next video.